Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing briefly about the history of anesthesiology. So the practice of medicine was transformed in the middle of the 19th century with the discovery of general anesthesia. Up to that point, surgery was performed as a last resort and desperate measure due to the unbearable pain associated with it. So, a young American dentist named William Morton discovered general anesthetics. So, he found that when he inhaled sulfuric ether, he became unresponsive. A few months after the, this discovery on October 16, 1846, Morton successfully anesthetized the patient at Massachusetts General Hospital, so which is located in Boston, USA. So a surgeon then removed a tumor of the left jaw while the patient remained unconscious. This highly significant discovery cleared the way for the development of many interventions of modern medicine. So as news of the discovery spread, James Simpson, a Scottish obstetrician, started using chloroform as a volatile general anesthetic. So particularly to alleviate pain during childbirth because childbirth is very painful. I haven't tried it, but it is. So, but there was risk associated with the use of these drugs because ether was highly flam flammable. It could not be used with electrocautery. The use of chloroform was associated with high death rates from cardiac arrest. Today, sulfuric, ether, and chloroform have been replaced by a much safer and effective agents like cephalofluorine and isoflurane. The practice of general anesthesia has evolved to become one of the safest of all routine and medical procedures. So for the brief um, timeline, in 4000 BCE, the use of opium poppy or herbal remedies using Hyskoskemus and Mandragora performed with bones, cannabis vapors, and carotid compression is documented in the records of ancient China, Greece, Egypt, and beyond. So, in 0 to 18,000, herbal mixtures of these same um, materials with um, uh, wine along cocoa leaves are used in ancient Greece, Rome, and the ancient em Incan Empire. So from the 1800s to the 1850, Humphrey da David observes nitrous oxide relieves physical pain. In 1805, Frederick Stirner isolates morphine from opium. In 1824, Henry Hick Hill Hickman describes the use of carbon dioxide as means of anesthesia for animals. So, there. And a lot more scientists discovered more um, beautiful effects, <laughs> more um, materials that can be used for anesthesia. In 1850 to 1900, Charles Pravas and Alexander Wood invented the hollow hypodermic needle to attach it into an earlier invention, invention to create the syringe. So, in 1898, August Beer conducts the first block using cocaine. He goes to create the Bayer block. So, in 1900 to 1925, caudal epidural an analgesia is described. So, in 1923, Isabella Herb administers the first ethylene oxygen surgical anesthetic so in 1925 to 1970 ralph l malters trains the first anesthesia residency class at the university of wilconsin madison in 1944 lid quain is introduced as local anesthetic lidocaine lidocaine so, in 1953, Virginia Apgar creates and publishes the Apgar score to assess the health of the newborns. In 1972, the inhalant of in inhalational, inhalational anesthetic isoflurane is introduced into the clinical practice. So, in 1986, the ASA 
approves a standard of care in the intraoperative anesthesia monitoring. So in 1994, the inhalational anesthetic sevoprolane is introduced into clinical practice. So in 2000 up to present, the ASA establishes a simulation education network or SEN to continue educating and certifying anesthesiologists. That would be all. Thank you.